Hey guys, this is Sam and today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the iPhone 6 Plus, which many of you probably know is the larger 5.5 inch version of the 4.7 inch iPhone 6. And my first thought when I picked it up or even when I just looked at it sitting at one of these stands at the Apple store was, wow, this thing is huge. Jake actually, uh, Lego by Django, you guys might know him by his channel name, helped me out with filming this and holding this. So big shout out to him. I'll leave his channel linked right down below in the description. Uh, but using the device was not as bad after a couple minutes of having it in my hand. Like when I first picked it up, I was like, wow, this is big. There's no way I could use this. And then I kind of started getting used to the bigger screen size. Of course, 90% of the time I had two hands on the device because simply it is too big to hold with one hand and reachability is a must use if you have this device because if you even want a shot at using it that other 10% of the time with only one hand, you can see, I mean, I'm struggling to reach my finger even to like three quarters or 75% of the way up to the top of the screen because simply it's so massive and that's not Apple's fault. I mean, it's impossible to make your hand reach up a massive device. I just, I don't know, 5.5 inches still seems like it's just too big for me. However, it's really cool that they have features like landscape mode. I mean, you can see when Jake's holding the phone, he's using it in landscape. It looks really awesome. Settings has that split view that you see on the iPad and almost all of the applications on the device, if not all of them, work in landscape mode, which is just so, so cool. App Store works in landscape and it looks awesome. I just really was wishing that Apple would have put this into the iPhone 6 as well as the 6 Plus because landscape mode is an awesome feature. I mean, it's necessary on the iPad. I also think that it's kind of necessary on the iPhone 6, but unless that comes in a future software update, which I very much doubt it will, um, that's just a feature that will only be found on the iPhone 6 Plus and up, I assume. But overall, guys, the iPhone 6 Plus felt like a really solid device. It felt like a quality Apple phone. It didn't feel like cheesy or cheap or anything like that. I mean, it had that kind of sense of weight equals good value to it. It wasn't heavy or too heavy, I should say, by any means, but it was heavier than the 6, and I could kind of tell. But I mean, that's the price you pay for a bigger screen and a bigger device, obviously. The screen was very, very nice to watch videos on. Jake and I watched one or two vi YouTube videos, uh, I think, on it. That looked very nice. But I mean, I guess is what I'm trying to say is that this isn't the device for me. But that's not to say that this isn't the device for you. If you've always wanted the iOS experience on a Galaxy S5 almost for that bigger 5-inch screen, then the iPhone 6 Plus is definitely what you want to go for. It's a great device. You get optic, optic, <laughs> this is a tongue twister, optic image stabilization. You get landscape mode and you get a bigger screen, which is pretty much what everyone wants out of a great smartphone in 2014. Uh, but for me, like I said before, 4.7 inches is pretty much my max. I mean, for a phone I'm using every single day, something that fits very well in my pocket and just is a solid device overall. I don't see myself buying the 6 Plus well ever, unless at some point in the future I'm just craving a bigger screen size, which I highly doubt. But anyway guys, these are just some thoughts I want to do throw up in the air relating to the iPhone 6. And of course, I couldn't resist but to cover the other iPhone 6 for you guys here on the channel because I know many of you would be interested in it. So once again, thank you very much for watching the video. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe for more iPhone 6 coverage. Thanks again, guys, and I will see you in the next one. And of course, subscribe for ongoing iOS 6. <laughs> iOS 6. <laughs>